where does your ability to feel the game doing the play calling and have the right intuition, where do you think that comes from for you? Well, I think it's more so just, again, knowing your players, knowing what they can do, what they can execute, um, and what they believe in, and having that dialogue with them as well as the coaches as you move throughout a ball game um, and, and executing the plan. I think that's the biggest thing. I think not coming in on your heels, but coming in to attack and, and really have a plan to really take away what the other team does well. And uh, seeing it through, believing in it, not flinching in the times where it's maybe getting a little hairy, staying with it, staying the course, and letting the guys know that you believe in them to get what we worked all week done. How many hours of film do you have to watch to get a feel of who you're going against? I, I haven't put a time on it, man. It's a lot. But, you know, you know, as you go through the week, you start seeing things, and um, it's like watching a movie over and over that you've seen. You always see something that you miss the 130th time you watch it, you know what I mean? The 131st time you watch it. Do you have a partner that you go through this with, or is this something where it's you and a monitor? No, we collectively as a staff really, really get at it. Every coach is kind of responsible for certain areas of the game, uh, whether it be first and second down, whether it be third down, and run personnel, the whole gamut. And we collectively come together. And it's my job to take all the information and put it together so our units can go out and, and flourish against us. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Is it going to be a, a lot of the, of the same 3 4 scheme with the Jack that we've seen sort of last year in the Walker's game? Are you planning to make some adjustments coming in? Or? Yeah, well, it, it, it'll be a lot of the same. Uh, we'll probably be a little more multiple. Uh, with what we're doing, changing our fronts and our coverages, but again, it, it, it is, it'll it all play out in terms of what our kids are capable of doing coming out of spring. We feel like we can be a little more multiple because we've returned quite a few guys that know what's going on and uh, just continuing to allow them to develop and grow what we do. So, you were, you were, go ahead. Uh, one other question, one of, the, um, one of the most effective recruiters on the staff, a lot of people were asking, um, is the, are you going to be able to get out of Florida as much? How's your role going to change? <laughs> well, that all depends on the head coach. Um, where, wherever he, he needs us to go and, and our recruit staff, um, wherever I need to go and, and do, I'm going to be able to go out and, and, and sell our brand, which we, we feel really good about and the trajectory of our program. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I know this might be too obvious of a question, but what, what do you think has made you successful? How do you approach it? Uh, it's just relationships. It's just relationships. I was a high school football coach in the state of Florida for 15 years uh, and developed a lot of ties and relationships. And it's, I just think it's just the way you treat people. Um, I think when they, when they believe in you, it's just like coaching. Coaching is recruiting, recruiting is coaching. You're coaching a guy to come to your school. And when you get him in, you coach him to play well, and do the right things, and continue on the morals and values that they would attain growing up. You were lead recruiter for Ruben, and uh, I'm sure he's integral to the defense. What do you expect from, this year, from him this year? How much of a leader do you want him to be? You know, he, he's really and truthfully, last year was really his first full season. First year was the COVID year uh, where we played five games. I think he was out with COVID one of those games. Uh, and last year was his first full season. So he's still a really young player, but he's very mature. Uh, he really understands what he's doing. Uh, he's, he's accountable. The guys believe in him. So it, as he continues to grow, the pack will continue to follow. And, and it's just allowing him the room to continue to grow, uh, but staying on him as well and making sure he's doing the necessary things to better himself. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, 
listen to my mom, and bite back with the big dogs. I think those are the types of things that create the type of bonds, the type of uh, work ethic amongst our team, and, and that's what creates the swag. Really. And, and, and because of that, our guys are now pulling each other a little better, uh, calling each other out when needed to, because everybody's got a common goal. And, you know, we do those things and we got a chance to continue having the success we have. We might have been asked this already, but you know, for you to take on this position of defensive coordinator, what does it mean to you? Um, how special was the moment to find out and, and what's it like having that new role now? Well, it's, you know, it's a dream come true. It's, it's, what we, it's what I've worked hard for throughout my career. Uh, very appreciative of Coach Locks for leaving me, uh, allowing me the opportunity. Very appreciative of uh, the coaches around me continuing to help us uh, help out. And, uh, and also, obviously, our players. So, uh, those things make it all special. Uh, and I'm going to do everything in my power to not let him down. What were those uh, last two you were the primary play caller in those last two games? Like, preparing in those weeks, um, doing that, like, was there any pressure or stress, like, what was it like just from a personal standpoint getting that opportunity? Well, yeah, of course it is, you know, because now it's a different transition for you, obviously, but, uh, you know, again, we had great continuity in terms of guys believing in what we were doing, uh, guys buying in, believing in me, and uh, I think because of those things, we had success come out. We didn't make wholesale changes. We just kind of did what we were trying to do a little better, and uh, and that's because of everyone around. How did you feel when that Rutgers game ended? I felt relieved. <laughs> I felt relieved. Uh, my guys really came out and played hard. And I, but I was happy for them more so than anything, and then also I was lots of just the whole organization of themselves being able to go to the bowl games. A lot of players talk about their relationship with you. What is your approach in terms of connecting with your players? Well, I, I think that is coaching. You're not connect, especially in this day and age. I think you have to connect with your players. You have to connect with them on, on many different levels. You know, and, and, and just getting to know them, what makes them go, what bothers them. You know, kind of helping you gauge when there's a good day coming and when it's a bad day, and maybe finding some encouraging words to help them out. And then by the same token, when things are going really good, keeping them level and, and staying neutral. And I think that's 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 the game we're in now, and that's what it's all about.